As I have already explained, the configuration nomenclature of typical isomer is a two type relative configuration and absolute configuration. First of all, we will discuss about the relative configuration of T that is called DL nomenclature. DL nomenclature, uh, some introduction is there. After that, I will explain with examples. Here is the examples. Before 1951, there was no any methods after adopted to uh, provide absolute configuration of any compounds. There is no any absolute configuration means absolute configuration means actual arrangement of atoms or group of atoms in a space. That is called absolute configurations. But there was no any methods before 1951 to provide a absolute configuration. So that's why there is a um, relative configuration were provided uh, according to the concept of glycylaldehyde. Glycylaldehyde is is taken as a reference for providing relative configuration in the glycylaldehyde this is a glycylaldehyde glycylaldehyde has OH group on the right side and H group on the left side the mirror image of this will be left side will be OH group and right side will be H in mirror image they will convert it from uh, they will transform from uh, this is right side this is the left side <coughs> so this OH will from right side shift to the left side in the mirror image but uh, this is a deconfiguration. In glycylaldehyde, this is provided deconfiguration as a taken in the uh, arbitrary. This is taken as a D. So, according to this reference, we provide the DL nomenclature to the other compounds, which is reference to the glycylaldehyde. Glycylaldehyde had a right side OH group and left side H group. That's why this is provided DL deconfiguration. In this configuration, OH in the left side and H is the right, right side. This provided L configuration. L glycylaldehyde D this is a D, this is a L. So we have taken this is a reference. If H, anyone two at two group of at anyone will be taken. If if you consider if any compounds OH will be given, then we have to consider OH. If OH in the right side, then that will be D. If any compounds OH will be in the left side, then that will be L configuration. With respect to glycylaldehyde if any compounds OH will be not available only H is available if then we have to consider H if H will be in the left side then that will be D configuration if H will be in the right side then that will be L configuration so these two we have to consider OH yeah we have to consider H we need two atoms if OH will be in the right side then that, that will be D configuration if the OH will be in the left side that will be L configuration if H will be in the left side second H will be in the left side then D configuration if H will be in the right side then L configuration. So we have to, to consider these two atoms. Now after this, now I'll give you examples. If any compounds, only one stereo center is there. This is compounds with one stereo center. I'll also explain with other compounds which having more than one stereo center. This compounds having more than one stereo center. One, two, three, four. Four stereo centers. Such type of compounds. How to DL nomenclatures can be provided? <coughs> In these compounds, the H group is not OH group is not available only NH2 H is available then we have to think about H we have to focus only two group OH H if any will be there in the compounds then by this we can provide L and D configuration this compounds having only H groups so we have to consider only H according to and with reference to glycylides if H group on the right side then the configuration will be L here is the L L line in this compounds also having H in the left side if H will be in the left side then this will be D configuration so this D is T series is a D configuration H group on the right side and H group on the left side I have written <coughs> if the here in this compound H is in the right side and H2 is the left side no OH is available that's why we have to consider only H if H is in the right side then that will be L configuration similarly if more than one chiral center in the compound similarly if more than one chiral center is available in the compound this type of compounds having more than one chiral center then we have to focus the uh, the last chiral center means the end chiral centers means the chiral center at the end this is a last chiral center i have written <coughs> If we consider OH with the highest number of chiral center for DLL, highest number chiral center in this compound, this is a first, second, third, fourth, fourth chiral center we have to consider. This compound now we are having one, two, three, fourth, fourth chiral center we have to consider. In this fourth chiral center, OH group on the right side, that's why it will be D. In the this compounds, OH group in the left side, that's why its configuration will be L. 
highest number chiral center we have to consider this compound having only one chiral center then we have to consider this so OH group on the right side that's why this configuration this compound having two chiral center but then you have to consider the highest number chiral center this chiral center last chiral center in this last chiral center the OH group in the left side that it will be L configuration. This compound is having 1, 2, 3, 3 chiral center. So, last chiral center, highest, chiral, highest number chiral center will be this. And this chiral center OH group in the right side. That's why it will be D configuration. This compound is having OH group in the left side, L configuration. Similarly, this compound is having highest number chiral center will be this. And this compound is having OH group in the left side, that's why L configuration. This compound is having highest number chiral center will be this. This compound OH group in the right side, that's why its configuration will be D. Now we have learned the DL configurations, relative configurations. Now we learn about the absolute configurations.